When Jordan was in ICU, he suffered seizures that the doctors understood very little about. So obviously the doctors were doing everything they possibly could, but there was a, a, a big part of all of this that was an unknown. If there was anything that could detect um, brain activity and that doctors were then able to make a move to stop that happening, that would have been wonderful. King's College Hospital have been working with Professor Martin Boutel and his team at Imperial College on a big data early warning system. This bolt can be fitted to the skull by a neurosurgeon without even having to go into theatre, turning what's going on inside the brain into data. You can see sticking out, we have a number of different sensors. One of them measures brain electrical activity. Another one measures the pressure and tissue oxygen and brain temperature as well. And then the last one, we measure chemically what's going on in the brain tissue. So if all of the indications from a probe like this are letting you know that there's trouble ahead, yep. that gives you a chance to act before the secondary brain injury really takes effect? Exactly, that's the idea. This data could produce vital new insights, but it's recording between 16 and 32 channels, each being measured up to 200 times a second. Very quickly, you can't see what's going on when there's that much data. Doctors in ICU need an automated solution to turn all this available data into something immediately useful. So Professor Boutel turned to Cybula, big data specialist who also worked on the engine monitoring systems at Rolls-Royce. So, obviously, an engine is completely different to a person's heart or a person's brain, mm -hmm. but you're using the same program to pinpoint problems in each? Yes. How it, does that it, work? Exactly, because it doesn't matter to us whether it's brain data or whether it's an aero engine. It's really just the data that's the issue. We are able to look at the patterns in the data and characterise those events through those shapes. Here's an example of a brain event that we're actually looking for. In this section here, we're looking for this kind of spreading kind of wave. The liquid goes into here. So, with a big data system. solution at its heart, this prototype brain monitoring system works in near real time. Importantly, for the busy critical care staff, they could see that something was happening here. So they can say, ah, oh, yes, it started to happen. We need to do something. 